What I'd like to share with you today is from this 5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton engine. I'd like to show you how we adjust the governor to the proper position. First thing we need to know is that when the throttle is in this position here, that is wide open position. We want to remember that when we're adjusting the, the governor. So underneath, underneath the fuel tank here, this right here, this is the governor arm. And what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this nut. Okay, once that's loose, and that was a 3 8 wrench by the way. Once that's loose, we're going to go back up here. We're going to hold this in a wide open position. And then, with that being held in a wide open position, we want to grab a socket. The socket we're going to use is a 3 16 socket. And again, hold this in the wide open position. In this case, sometimes there's a screwdriver, sometimes there's not. We want to turn the shaft clockwise as far as it will go. That's counterclockwise, there's clockwise. We have it held up at the top in wide open position. That's where we want to keep it. And now take our 3 8 wrench and we want to tighten this screw back up. Now the Briggs and Stratton repair manual says to put it at 35 foot pounds. But for the sake of the video, I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'll just get, get it good, snug. And there we go. Our governor is in a position that the Briggs and Stratton manual says it needs to be in.